This video is sponsored by Big Daddy Unlimited. They have a subscription package that can save the outdoor enthusiast a lot of dough. Here's how it works. You sign up for a 30-day trial membership for just 99 cents, and you'll have access to their complete online inventory. After 30 days and you want to keep it going, it's just $9.95 a month. Check them out at BigDaddyUnlimited.com. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in back with the budget series and today we're featuring a very popular budget handgun called the SAR USA SAR 9. This really gained popularity during the buying surge when people were looking for their first handgun and didn't want to pay a lot of money. The MSRP really jumped up, 449 but people are still picking this up in the mid 300s and I remember back when it was around 225 is what people were getting this for and I think that is a steal. Full size handgun comes with 17 round mags. The grip is very much modeled after an HK. It does have additional grip panels and back straps. Nice ergonomic feel. 4.4 inch barrel, a full pick rail, front serrations, three dot metal sights, and a trigger that I am measuring right at five and a half pounds. A very nice trigger pull, extremely accurate handgun too. I have been impressed with its performance. I have had this for a while. I remember when it was first launched, not many people knew about it. I took a liking to it right away and figured, you know, with a full size format with 17 round mags at a budget price, it, it's going to be a winner. And it has proved to be a winner. Now this one has a thumb safety. Right there, others do not. And they expanded on the SAR 9 with the SAR 9X and various other models. I do believe that this is the gun that put SAR USA on the map. Further than it already was prior to the launch because people really took notice. Now, you may notice that the top of the slide here looks Glockish, you know, squared off. And then the lower is very HK ish. Two popular models that combined create the the SAR 9. I'm not saying that it's an HK and I'm not saying that it's a Glock but it has performed very well since I have owned it and it definitely deserves in this budget category because you know for 250 bucks that's what people were getting it for now mid 300s will it drop in price maybe so probably not because of the popularity, then you have the supply and demand thing. I will mention also the 17 round mags, they do offer two 17 round mags along with the grip panels and back straps makes for a very nice deal. Now, where this most shines is at the range. It performs very well, best used with 124 grain, nine millimeter, but it does, it performs great. Bon Let's check out the SAR 9 reliability with a Lipras test. Nice, it passed. have showed this off throughout the years i continue to show it off because it offers a lot for not a lot of money so those who love full-size handguns i certainly wouldn't carry it and i know some people would some people people carry everything but for those who love a full-size handgun that is pretty pretty darn accurate great ergonomic feel nice trigger i forgot to mention it does have a trigger bar safety in there and that red coloring right there makes it it just goes away right at the break and a very nice trigger pull so the sar usa sar 9 getting it done in the budget category getting it done in the gun world and getting it done for a lot of first time shooters you know for a, a budget price to get a full size handgun with all these additional accessories i think is a pretty good deal and that's why that's why it's gained popularity throughout the years and people are really loving it so there it is 
Back with the budget series. Today we're featuring the SAR 9, a well-deserved entry into this series, and I plan to do more with it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.